Straight. Where did you manage the Yankees? I took over in uh, 1989 for Dallas Green. And uh, I really liked Dallas. You know, I mean, I went to spring training, you know, like being a triple A manager, I went to spring training yeah. and I got to know Dallas a little bit. You know, I really liked him, but um, George called me and, uh, and offered me the job, you know, and I told him, I said, you know, this team's not very good. You know, it's going to take a little while to build this up. And if you're not going to be patient, you know, right. then, then I really don't want the job, you know, and he said, no, 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 I'll be patient, you know, and this and that and the other. And um, so I, I took the job and found out that he wasn't patient and I wound up getting fired in 1990. <laughs> <laughs> but I enjoyed it. You know, I really enjoyed it. You know, it was a challenge. Um, well, I think what it is, you get to see the game from a different angle. Mm -hmm. Well, I learned that in the minor leagues, you know, um, my last year in Kansas City, I uh, played for Dick Hauser and I love Dick Hauser. He's one of my Dick favorites. Hauser? Yeah, was the best manager the Yankees had in my opinion. Yes, and I uh, love him. We won 103, and they fired him. But when I went to Kansas City and finished up my career, he used to talk to me a lot about. You know, he says, he says, you know, I I think you should go to the minor leagues and manage. And he says, the reason I'm telling you you need to do that is because, you know, you've played shortstop, you've coached and and taught, you know, at your school and stuff. But you need to manage the game. You need to learn to manage pitching. Uh, situations, the, the media. So I started in Fort Lauderdale my first year and uh, I had Bill Mamouquette was my pitching coach. And, you know, I remember, you know, I could teach pretty much anything, but when it, my first game it was against Miami and Mike Torres is pitching against us. Um, and, you know, I'm standing there and the game's going along and Mambo looked at me, and goes, you want to get somebody warmed up? And I went like, oh, my God, I was so locked into the game that, you know, I forgot about, you know, the pitching. And so he taught me about, you know, situations of, you know, getting pitchers up, you know, which guy to right. use and things like that. And um, that's when I started to really under go, wow, just there's a lot to manage in this game. It's so fast, you know, uh, especially from the seventh in and on. You know, he said that, it, you know, you need to learn to do you know, handle pitching and stuff like that. So I was lucky. I had some really good pitching coaches. I had Bill Mamoket. I had Hoyt Wilhelm. And when I went to trip, AAA, I had Kenny Rowe, who had just come over from the Orioles, um, be the pitching coach from, yeah. you know, with uh, Earl Weaver. So um, he he taught me a lot of little things also. And and that's what Dick was talking about. You need to learn, you know, the yeah. game because it's fast. Herkimer diamonds, whether they're in their natural form or calibrated form or jewelry or clusters or in the host rock, we're the source. So we sell a lot of product to a variety of people throughout the world. Straight. 